Hello, Redemption. We are getting ready to jump into our second of three series covering the book of Hebrews. In this series, we are going to be covering Hebrews chapters 6 through 9. And this series we're calling Shadows, which is all just about this idea that what the Old Covenant in the Old Testament was, was just a shadow of what the New Covenant brought through Jesus is to us now that the new covenant is actually far greater than how the Jewish people lived uh, in the Old Testament. We get this from Hebrews chapter 8, verses 5 and 6. It says, Priests serve in a system of worship that is only a copy, a shadow of the real one in heaven. He goes on to say that Jesus uh, gives us a far better covenant. He mediates for us a far better covenant and actually enters in to the holy, the real holy place, heaven, that's not made by man's hands. Priests had to offer sacrifices on a regular basis for their sins and for the sins of the people. What Jesus did once and for all was offer a sacrifice for us, giving up his righteousness, taking on our sin, so that he could hand us the promise of eternal life. Jesus offered himself once and for all to be our high priest, to mediate for us, between us and God. So here is the main point. Hebrews 8, 1 and 2 says, We have a high priest who sat down in the place of honor beside the throne of the majestic God in heaven. No other high priest in history was ever able to do that. Only Jesus was actually able to sit beside God on that throne. There he ministers in heaven in the heavenly tabernacle, the true place of worship that was built by the Lord and not by human hands. So we get this promise to us from a from the highest of high priests, Jesus himself who gives up his righteousness so that we can have it, so that we can enter in to the holy place ourselves. And know that this is a time where we find ourselves uh, uncertain, maybe uncertain with uh, jobs or uncertain with family, uncertain with what things are going to look like next month or in three months or in six months or in a year. How will our world be changed from the times that we've experienced over the last six months or so? And I want to encourage you with this, maybe my favorite verse in all of scripture or verses, Hebrews chapter 6 verses 18 and 19 that points us to what we hold to when everything else seems to be wavering, when everything else seems to be unsure, we hold to this. Hebrews 6 18 and 19 says, so God has given both his promise and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. It leads us through the curtain and into God's inner sanctuary. That's what Christ has done for us. When he gave himself up on the cross... He led us through the curtain out of the reality of the old covenant and into the reality of the new covenant where we can approach God through him with confidence in the promises that he's laid before us. I can't wait for us to start this series, Redemption, as as we get to talk about really trusting in the promises of God. Everything else will fail you. Everything else will come up short. Everything else passes away. But the promises of God hold true throughout the ages for all eternity. Come and join us for this series. It's going to be great.